As important as it is to be able to set up an account and manage billing, the other side of the equation that needs to be considered is service delivery. A reasonable expectation for any paid-for service, especially a data service, is reliability. While Sonar can't guarantee the reliability of your service provider backbone, we do make it easy to configure failover services as well as track the service reliability, uptime, and service usage of your customers and tenants. In essence, Sonar's network functionality is designed to fit seamlessly into your existing setup, or if you're just getting started, can be a great baseline for setting up a networking environment. So let's go over a few of the key features that should hopefully make Sonar a staple in your tool belt. Provisioning clients in Sonar is easy, combining a smooth interface with a robust backend of network servers such as a Mikrotik router or Juniper switch. By combining the IP address management interface, where you can see information on all of your supernets and subnets, with the network dashboard, which gives you a quick way to check the status of any inline devices and your network sites, Sonar can help you incorporate a number of client provisioning services without feeling the need to rip out your hair. In terms of getting customers set up within your instance and on your network, the networking side of Sonar seamlessly incorporates DHCP, RADIUS, or PBPoE, with the server information entered as part of the networking setup and credentials stored directly on the customer account. After the client connection occurs, we enter the next stage of how Sonar simplifies and automates the client experience. Depending on your network configuration, the usage data may be reported by your provisioning server. But if it's not, don't worry, because you can still configure an inline device and have our NetFlow service capture and transmit the amount of data being used by your customers for display on their account. In addition to data usage tracking, and the associated usage-based billing identifying free versus billable usage, the networking functionality introduces live network monitoring using a network polar. Available on Sonar's GitHub, the polar allows you to deploy a passive network scanner that will communicate with devices on whichever subnets you choose to have it monitor and report the status of the devices connected on that subnet, while storing this data historically. The other benefit of the Polar is the introduction of monitoring statistics, a feature which allows you to see the ICMP and SNMP statistics, network statistics, and breakdown of the overall connection quality. The data related to the monitoring statistics comes directly from the equipment, based on information provided when configuring your monitoring templates, configured by providing the SNMP OIDs for information you wish to graph, track, or be notified of as it approaches the thresholds you set. Another advantage of Sonar is the means to monitor and adjust the connectivity of your clients, which is best seen in the interactions between the network services and the automatic billing. If your customer becomes delinquent on their invoice, Sonar can automatically transition these customers to a delinquent state. Through communication with the provisioning server, the Sonar instance can arrange for these delinquent customers to have their connections dropped or slowed to the point of near uselessness, as well as redirected in the case of non-HTTP traffic. Something to note is that this process can trigger on any invoice and not just service-related invoices. For example, a maintenance fee that's charged and invoiced might be due by the end of the month and if unpaid, will also result in the same delinquency process being triggered. Thank you for joining us for the third video in our MDU series. Hopefully, this has shown you how easy it can be to get your customers provisioned and on your network, while also tracking key service metrics such as service reliability, uptime, and service usage of your customers and tenants. Be sure to check out the rest of the videos in this series to learn more.